Galileo, Europe's first independent global satellite navigation system, is becoming a reality, with EGNOS paving the way. EGNOS, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, is the first step for Europe. Operational since 2009, it consists of three geostationary satellites and a network of ground stations offering a safety of life service. By filtering GPS signals, it offers more accurate positioning to within one and a half metres. In Europe, aircraft equipped with receivers using EGNOS already take advantage of space-based navigation for guidance during landing. In the four years since the last ESA ministerial in 2008, EGNOS successfully completed its development phase and ownership was transferred to the European Commission. EGNOS is a vital forerunner to the second step, Galileo, Europe's first global satellite navigation system. The successful launch of its first pair of operational satellites was a key moment and Galileo has gone from strength to strength. On the Galileo side, uh, the last year we had the chance to implement successfully the two GOV missions, the two technological satellites, which demonstrated in orbit the capability of the technology, European technology, to manage then the deployment of uh, Galileo. And very recently, uh, I mean uh, in 2011, October, and uh, in October 2012, we launched the four IOV satellites. So now we have fully deployed the full, what we call IOV in orbit validation infrastructure, I mean, ground segment, the four satellites, and very soon next year we'll be able to do the first European validation of a positioning using only European assets. Galileo will evolve as more and more satellites are added until a complete constellation of 30 satellites is reached, offering Europe an independent and highly accurate civilian satellite navigation system with unprecedented accuracy. When Galileo's signals are filtered by EGNOS, the system will no longer rely on a single constellation, giving more confidence to its users. And decisions taken at the next ministerial will confirm the evolution of both systems. So at ESA level for the next ministerial, our priority is just to prepare for the future, because the consolidation of the programme and the final deployment of the programme is now in the hands of the European Commission, acting as programme manager and is acting on their behalf as system prime and procurement agent. So for the ministerial, we propose a technology program to prepare the next generation on both EGNOS to be deployed around 2020 and Galileo, because the satellite we launched last year and uh, very recently have a 10, 12 years lifetime and we have now to prepare for the future. By preparing for the second generation of Galileo satellites, as well as its infrastructure on the ground, Europe is looking ahead so that in the future, its citizens can take full advantage of this highly precise navigation system and the new and improved services as the importance of satellite navigation continues to increase in our daily lives.